MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. Game two of the World Series between the Colorado Rockies and the Seattle Mariners. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your Seattle Mariners. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. And a chance now to check out the visiting Colorado Rockies. Who are you focused on, Dan Plezak? Well, Matty, the guy I'm here to see is big Chris Bryant. He's truly one of the great power hitters in the game. I love watching him, and he's got elite power. That, that's the kind of power that he can hit it over the light towers, and he can hit home runs that will show up on show track and, and everything else. So anytime he steps into the box, he's exciting to watch. Kevin Brown is on the mound for game two. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, I, I love watching this guy pitch. I went back, looked at the video of his last game. He pitched into the sixth inning, threw the ball great, had electric stuff when he needed to, pitched out of some tough jams, and pitched well enough to get the W. So I think we'll see tonight really firsthand what kind of pitcher he is. We'll get to see it firsthand. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Mariners. And at first base, Freddie Freeman. Freddie can pick it, man. Throw the ball in the dirt. Freddie's coming up with it. And don't be surprised he does the splits on you every now and then. Leading off tonight for Colorado, the designated hitter, number 10. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line and left, hooking just a little. And he darn near started this thing off with a bang. Instead, it's a foul ball. And he lays off for ball one. Matt, nobody likes to get blown out, but I look at it this way. I'd rather get blown out and say, forget it, boys. It's time to play ball instead of losing a one-run game and thinking all the things you could have done to win that game. Now you're in a situation, go put some runs up and go take it to him. Forget about it. You can't do nothing about a blowout anyway. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled him off instead of putting it in the seats. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first that out of the evening. The right fielder number and that'll here. bring up Ben Gamble. Ben Gamble. Into the windup and the pitch. A knee-high sinker, tough pitch, strike one. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Now, Matt, Dave Lawrence can remind you a lot of James Kingsley. He comes from that old school of when you hit your spots, he's going to call it. He has a tendency to call one side of the plate a little bit more than the other. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Gamble is retired two down now Batting third first base into the box now Manuel, Manuel Diaz. Diaz looking to at least put the ball in play here this inning Aye. and a fastball is in there for strike one that pitch is in triple digits I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it and he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one Chop foul over towards the dugout. Working on striking out the side in the first. And another foul ball. Here's the one and two delivery. 
A shot down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. And now a quick look at the Mariners starting lineup in this one. Harold what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game. Matt have you seen this guy throw. Ooh, he is electric. What do you got to do against him. I think you got to attack him early. He's just too overpowering. His stuff is electric. He's got one of those great power arms that we'll talk about for years to come. You got to take it to him before he takes it to you. Jeff Hoffman will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him H. Matt everybody knows who this guy is last year he was a Cy Young Award winner he's got electric stuff and I just love watching how he goes about his business he gets himself ready for every start and he has a game plan I'm curious to see how he's going to attack this lineup today with the game plan is put together. Leading off for the Mariners third baseman. Sid Seth. Hit in the air to center field. On the run is Tapia. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Designated header. Stepping into the box, Kyle Seeger. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is Tapia. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo home run here for Kyle Seeger. His second home run of the series as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. Yeah we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run it to early in the game and he does just that blasting a no doubt bomb that serves notice they're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. So one away here with the bases empty Batting and third. here comes Junior. Center fielder Ken Griffey Jr. First delivery to him on the way. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Man he's flirting with danger. He gave up a home run on that very same pitch and this time he comes right back with it in another dangerous location. He better be careful. This is pulled into right. Gamble is there. Two down. Batting fourth. At the plate, right Giancarlo Taylor. Stanton. Looking John to get on Carlos base and keep this Stanton. first inning alive. First pitch coming. Here it is. On the ground, up the middle. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight more baseball on MLB Network right after this at the plate Ralph Kiner he'll lead things off here in this one run contest number four Ralph into the windup and the pitch takes a look down at the knees for a strike the windup and the 0 1 hard hit toward the hole and just past his outstretched glove into left the base hit. Well here he goes again. Here's that guy lead off base hit. He's having a nice postseason. He is really locked in right now. Brian. Now to the plate Chris Bryant. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And that misses for ball one. 
Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. One and one. Here it comes. A fastball that he's way out in front of. A swing and a miss. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it to the dirt and turn one over for you. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Chris Bryant goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. In now, Jamie Rosario, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. And he takes strike two. Well, he finds himself down 0-2, but you know what? He looked at the first two pitches, but they're different pitches, both down, good pitchers' pitches. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. So it was a strikeout swinging. Not Jamie Rosario is sent packing for out number two in the inning. So striding forward now, Rymel Tapia. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A ball and no strikes. Here it is. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Working for the punch out and the offering. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. One left for Colorado. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Leading off for the Mariners. First baseman, Freddie Freeman. Hard liner to center field. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while Dang some guys it. shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy Boy, is a Tigger. gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Ready. Here's the first offering. Very weakly on the ground. Foul ball, however, strike one. No one out with a runner at second. There's a swing and a high pop up. Bryant is there for it. One out. Seven. Now batting, Second Josh Hanson. Donaldson. Josh Donaldson. First delivery to him on the way. And a whiff at a good slider that time. One, here's the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll hurry back to second here as he was wise to not push it that time. One out and a runner on second base. Takes this the other way to right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So Got stepping in, Dwight After. Santiago. Dwight Santiago. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted in the air out to left. Heiner is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. One left for Seattle. We play two innings. It's one to nothing. 